If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It does absolutely nothing but boost my ego. If you're interested in IRL stuff, I am doing a video game collection series right now. Please feel free to check that out. And of course, if you need coins, head over to U7Buy. The link for that is in the description. Use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on, guys? Here. Welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Past and Present. Past? Past and Present. It is a little bit dark in here. That did nothing. So, picked up another token, used the duplicate Manuel Neuer, and now we have ourselves a, I think, the Saudi team of the season. Uh, is that what we have? I think, yeah, there we go. So, uh, we also have a... Um, 75 plus times 10, I think, at some point during this video. Side of the team of the season will do now. The only one I'm really interested in is Romarino. Telisco wouldn't have been too bad, of course. But Romarino was the one that I really wanted. Unfortunately, it was uh, the Macedonia left-back that I'm pretty sure used to play for Leeds. I mean, he's not terrible. His stats are fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just impossible to link into a team and not something that I'm personally interested in and I think he's valued at about 25k so not a good one gave up Manuel Neuer amongst other things for that card like I said perfectly serviceable just not what I wanted so I said I had a what was it the the 75 plus Bundesliga 10 75 plus Bundesliga rare players pack the first one we got Manuel Neuer and the I think left back team of the season in this one, not even a walkout. I mean, to be fair, I can't complain because a lot of people didn't have good things in the first one. So, yeah, it's just a shame that Kramaric was the highest rated card I had in. It wasn't like a, a Guerrero or something. Kramaric is about 900 coins, even when um, rare, rare cards are, are going for a fair bit. He's still not worth anything. But there we are. Let's move on to the team of the season. And here we are. Just had to use Kramaric and... Upper Meccano and a few other cards. You're going to get to see them again. There they are. So Hernandez was the other one. Uh, put them into the SBC. Going to go over now and open this and get this done. And hopefully, I mean, I say hopefully, I don't really care what I get in here. Something like that isn't Manuel Neuer would be would be nice. And I don't want that, uh, that fallback either because we already have him. Kimmich obviously would be the best and, and Lewandowski would be great. But to be honest, I don't really have that much of a preference. That is Kostic. I'm pretty sure it is indeed. So, I mean, eh. It goes on my Bundesliga team, to be fair, because the only, the only position I really needed to improve there was the left mid, ironically, or the left wing. So Kostic will improve it. I, I had little to no expectation of that, to be fair. Like I said, like I think DRB would have been the only one, like the standout one that I would have really wanted. This card looks okay on the face of things. He's not expensive. And, yeah, just chuck him in the club, I guess. That looks insane, by the way. Four-star weak foot. Who cares about the skills? Because he's there to defend. That looks like a card and a half. Agility, balance. Wow. And the defensive stats. The physical. He can finish as well. He's, he's quick. I hate that difference between the acceleration and the sprint speed. But at least it's that way around. His, his passing is great. That is a really good card. That is a really, really good card. And a lot, a lot of people might not agree, and a lot of people might go, eh, I don't really care. I like it. I like it a lot, to the point where I'm actually thinking of doing that for no reason other than the fact that I like it. 84, 85 rated team. I don't really see me using a Bundesliga team outside of that Daily Cup past the token, which is three wins. And I already have what I would consider to be a pretty decent Bundesliga team. I don't really need... To, to add anyone to it. And as this is a Liverpool past and present save, or not save, you know what I mean, uh, I've been playing too much FM um, thing, then do I really need to do it? No is the answer, but I kind of want to. He just looks a, a bit of class. How tall is he? Yeah, that's good. I like it. Mm. Might do that, you know. Uh, th that came out, that, pretty sure that came out today. Tonali came out today, definitely. Which again... Something that I would be tempted to do. And I'll tell you why. Because I think... Is it uh, La Liga's next? Serie A's after La Liga. But obviously, for things like objectives, you're going to need first owner Italian league players. My first owner, or just in general, my Italian team, is not the best. There's a couple of decent players in there, but Tonali would, would actually add a lot. And if that's cheap enough, that could be something worth doing. 84 rated team with an in-form or a team of the season. It's not bad. 
again, for the French League stuff, he could be a thing, but to be honest, I don't think he'll be very good. Let's move on. Was that already there? I feel like it was. Road to the final, do you get a... I mean, it's like a, a basically a uh, marquee matchups for, like, European stuff. I, To be honest, it's not even that I, I don't want to do it. I do want to do it. I just can't be bothered to sit there and fill it out. That's all it is. I'm lazy. I am lazy. Uh, same with marquee matchups. Uh, I think I've done... No, I haven't. So there is... What day is it today? Thursday. So here we go. Uh, I did marquee matchups yesterday to get the token. There's a token in this one yet again, but the difference between this one is that we get a small rare gold players pack, which you didn't in the last one. It was a mega pack for finishing it all off. This is a 50k, from what I just remember. I like me a Prime Electrum, and I need to get that token anyway, and you get a jumbo gold pack, which is slightly better than the reward yesterday. So I will be doing marquee matchups at some point, because I definitely need that token. Did, we, did they drop anything in here worth doing? That's a player pick. Bundesliga 84 plus double upgrade. We'll do that in a second because why not? You get a mega pack for doing the challenge number five as well. What do you need for this? That'll be interesting. 78 rated team, 85 chemistry, first owned players, whatever. That's fine. And this one, probably an 84 rated team. 84 rated team uh, with 55 chem. That's pretty straightforward. Definitely going to be doing that because it'll be my last chance at packing... Probably DRB. It's the only one I actually care about. So I'm actually going to open these first so I can get some players in the club and hopefully I won't need to uh, to go and buy any. I'll show you just on the off chance we do actually hit something. I'm not expecting to though if I'm honest and the whole point of it is to quite literally just get players into the club so that, um, like I said, I, I may not need to buy as many because I'm probably going to need to buy the majority. Well, maybe not the majority. The 84 rated um, team should be fine. But anything lower than that is a problem. Marquee matchups is going to be a big issue because I don't... I mean, like, other than under 83 rated, I don't have much of anything. And to be honest, I don't think I've got much 80 or many many 83s. There's one. Could be Jorginho, actually, or Atsabi. Oh, Chiesa. Uh, don't often pack him, not that it matters, let's just get rid of that. Uh, there should be like four or five packs, uh, four packs, oh, 45k in there as well actually, 45, 45k pack, which may give us something, it may not, I'm not sure. Obviously that's the whole point in opening it. Uh, let's see if he's tradable, he is not. I know I could go and re-rinse those in upgrades or whatever, but at the end of the day, who cares. So actually, we've got some decent packs there. Oh, please let me open that. Where the hell did that come from? Bundesliga EFL Team of the Season Lone Player. Of course it is. Of course it is. I mean, couldn't have been couldn't have been anyone else. Anyone. So those get opened through the next Team of the Season. I have 45k, a rare Electrum, and then the 583 plus rare E-Figs because today I played Rivals for the first time in like two weeks. So... Rather annoyingly, I'm going to have to open that. Well, not have to, but I'm going to open that now for the Bundesliga team of the season. I probably could leave it for like La Liga or something, but I don't think any of the team of the seasons hold anything. Apart from in tomorrow's, in La Liga's, Iago Aspas should be in there. And of course, he's, he's former Liverpool. That's an inform. Spanish left-back. I haven't actually looked at this week's team of the week. It's going to be 84 Pedraza from Villarreal, who, for an 84-rated card, actually doesn't look that bad. He'll never get used, obviously, but it doesn't look that bad. Uh, we'll put that... Is that not La Liga? La Liga-specific? Look at the state of that. Even the duplicate is La Liga. It's probably going to be worth me going... Right, I'll, I'll, I'll go and do the the two SBCs now and then come back for the for the two packs. Bunch of random cards, all untradeable, and I think I probably have half of them on my transfer list waiting to come back in as well. Why am I doing this? Content, if I'm honest, and because I just like opening packs. Bundesliga team of the season, I don't know why. And, and, and obviously, if you're a fan of the Bundesliga, this isn't a dig, obviously. But I don't think many, if any, people care about Premier League, uh, Bundesliga team of the season outside of fans of the Bundesliga. When it comes to... 
And to be honest, I think the only other league I can think of that people are really looking forward to is going to be the French league because you've got the likes of Mbappe and they'll probably put Messi and Neymar in there even though neither of them probably deserve to be in there. Maybe, maybe not. But either way, the, the French league team of the season has and is going to have a fair few decent cards in there. I can't think of many from La Liga that people are going to really want. Maybe Benzema, but probably not. Serie A is going to be completely dead. I can't think of one player that anyone's going to want from them. And La Liga, and we've already just been through that, Bundesliga, again, I don't really see many people like hyping it up or getting that excited about it. And it, it's always the second one. And it just sort of, team of the season takes a big dip after the Premier League because they go into Bundesliga, a team of the season that, you know, it doesn't really get people going. There's nothing really in there that I can think of that many people really want. And it's not because Lewandowski is not good enough or whatever. It's just in the game those type of players aren't that well used, you know? Like, even now, like Lewandowski, I don't even think is that expensive. I just do not see people using him. And it's down to the fact that he just doesn't suit the game very well. Uh, and a lot of people will probably be running Premier League teams uh, with variants of icons and things. It's a little bit boring, but it's just the way that it is. Uh, where What are we doing? So, do we... Do I open this... Do I care more about Bundesliga or do I keep it for the French League? Let's just open it. Screw it. Let's just open it and see what we get. Probably nothing. Yep, we get boards. I mean, it would would, just, would not have been worth keeping, would it? I knew it would be Ilicic. The problem with this is, unless my duplicate one is... Am I, gonna disc am I really going to discard an 84? Yep. Painful. For many. Not for me. I don't really care. Let's move on. Come on, give me Kimmich. Not building it up, just going to get it open. Just going to open it. That's that's shocking. That's not, that's really bad. Liverpool past and present. But oh my days. That is not very good at all, is it? Two goalkeepers, fantastic. I mean, it could have been two 84s, I guess. But at the same time, you open an 84 double from that league and you expect a walkout. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. I am very tempted by him. I don't even know why. I probably wouldn't even use him outside of a little bit of that Bundesliga Cup. Let me know. Is it worth doing him? And is it just me or is that a really good card? Let me know. I think I think that could be something a little bit special, you know. I don't know. Are you going to do that, SBC? Let me know in the comments. What about Tonali as well? Tonali is one of those that I think could come in, in handy for future um, endeavours. You know, because we're going to get another team of the season swaps, which obviously I want to partake in, and he could come in handy there. Um, I don't know if we're going to get another icon swaps after the current one, but there is going to be a second section of that of this one uh, that I will need to do, and probably involve some sort of Serie A thing as well. So. And same with, with Dorsch, actually. You know, there, there could be a Bundesliga section in that Icon Swap's second half. So I am very tempted to do it. Let me know what you think of the, all the content from today. Did you pack anything from the 84 Plus? If you have enjoyed this video, though, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye.